Hey everyone, and welcome to the first of the Her Code Camp Workshop series. In this video, we're going to go over how to use Google Collab Notebooks. We will be using these notebooks to live code in the videos, and you will have your own copy to follow along with. First things first, we will provide you with an exact copy of the Collab Notebook to follow along with each video. You can find the download link in the description of this video or in the corresponding Slack channel. We'll also email the links to you. Downloading the file. For each video, download the appropriate Collab Notebook. It will have a title that corresponds to the title of the video. Once it's downloaded, head over to collab.research.google.com. Uploading to Collab and opening the notebook. Once you get onto the site, you will see an orange pop-up with tabs. Click on the tab that says Upload. Go ahead and upload the Collab Notebook you downloaded earlier. Success! You should see the title of the video and some writing. Navigating the screen. All right, before we get into how to use this notebook, let's take a quick tour of our environment. At the top, you will see some options like File, Edit, and View. This is where we will eventually save the file, but for the most part, you will not have to touch this. Next, you will see two plus signs, one beside the word text and one beside code. These buttons allow you to create either a text cell or a code cell. We've gone ahead and added all the cells you need so you won't have to touch them unless you want to try adding your own text and code. All right, now that we've covered the buttons, let's get to the fun stuff. As I mentioned before, we have two types of cells in this notebook, code cells and text only cells. As our name suggests, one is for writing code and the other is for text only. The text only will display text, but won't perform any computation when we run it. To run a code cell, you can either hit shift and enter, or just hit that play button on the left of the cell. Let's try an example of writing text in the notebook. Click the plus text button to create a new text block and then type something in it. You write on the left side and a preview of what you wrote shows up on the right side. This is because you can make the text look fancy with things like bold and italics, but don't worry about that now. Hit shift and enter to complete the block or click anywhere outside the block. When we run the cell, we see that this looks like regular text. Now let's try an example of writing code. Click the plus code button to create a new code block. And don't worry too much about what we're writing here right now. You can consider it a teaser for the videos. When we hit run, we can see that the cell takes a second and then displays a value beneath the cell. This means that the computation was performed and we are getting the results at the bottom. One thing you might see in the workshop videos is a box that pops up while we type. While it might be annoying, don't worry about it. It's just a very smart autocomplete function in the notebook. Here's an example. One final thing. Make sure to save your work periodically. Sometimes disaster ensues and we don't want to lose any work. Fortunately, this step is easy. You can save the notebook by hitting Control S. This saves to your Google Drive. You can also save by pressing the File button and selecting Save in the drop-down menu. To access your saved notebook after you leave the site, you can go to your Google Drive at drive.google.com. There should be a folder called Collab Notebooks, which stores all of your notebooks. Double-click the folder, then the notebook you want to work on. Then hit Open with Google Collaboratory. That's it! Now you know how to use Google Collab Notebooks and we'll be able to follow along with our videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all soon in the workshops.